Hey, everybody, it's Kathy with Backyard Columbus, and today's episode is Keeping Nature Natural. So this is probably going to be pretty short, and I've mentioned this topic in other episodes, but I just want to kind of throw it out there, give you some other ideas. So a lot of people I know, they use pesticides and herbicides in their yards, and all in the sidewalks, all everywhere. And so whether that's Roundup or something with another name, and whether you... Uh, agree whether you should use it or not. The fact is, it is not good for your lawn. It's not good for the insects, butterflies, birds, bees, everything that comes into your yard, okay? That stuff is uh, poison in essence, but I I totally understand, so don't come at me. I totally understand. You got a patch of poison ivy and you have tried and tried and tried and you are just over it. I get that, okay? I'm talking about the broad scale, just spraying it all over the place use of Roundup or things like Roundup. So uh, fireflies is something that you see a lot about on Instagram right now. I've got it in my feed almost every day. People seem to love fireflies. Little kids love them. Little lightning bugs are really fun to see. But when you broad spray, when you have a company come out, a regular old company, okay, not an organic lawn company, and I'll talk about that in just a second, but a regular old pesticide company, pesticide and herbicide company, lawn care, come out and broadly spray all over your lawn. That is killing those lightning bugs. And that's probably not what you meant to do. You know, you just wanted rid of the grubs or you wanted rid of other things that were unpleasant. But unfortunately, all of the pleasant stuff gets caught up in that broad spray. Okay, so if you've got some nasty corner that you're trying to get something out of weed, a a nasty weed, I do get that. Here is another option. There is such a thing called gardener's grade vinegar. This is not the regular old vinegar out of your house. This is a 40 to 45% solution, a grade solution. I don't know what it's called. It just says like 40% vinegar. Really, really, really strong stuff that you can get on Amazon, maybe at your local nursery. And that will kill, like if I had a weed, you know, we, we actually take out dandelions out of our yard. If you spray that in the root, like if you take the dandelion out by hand and then maybe some of the root didn't get out of there, you spray that directly in there or you have your gloves and I have sprayed poison ivy with this gardener's grade vinegar and it's dead. So I didn't have to use Roundup or anything else like that. And so the the gardener's grade vinegar did not kill anything else, okay? Uh, in the spring when crabgrass and other things like that is are getting ready to, what do you call, bloom? I don't know that crabgrass blooms, but you'll grow. There is such a thing called corn gluten. Corn gluten or corn gluten meal, you'd have to look that up actually, that if you put that all over your lawn, it greatly reduces the amount of crabgrass. Now look, none of the natural solutions may be as heavy hitting as the, the the nasty stuff, okay? But these are just some things to consider. And I also do understand if you just bought a house, no one ever took care of it, and you've just got to go go in there and nuke the lawn. Listen, if you did that once and never did it again, that could be a pretty effective thing, okay? But overall, when you're trying to attract butterflies, you're trying to attract bees and things like that, as natural as you can get your outdoors is the better. So I only use natural fertilizer in my tomato garden, like in our uh, raised garden beds when we're raising food. But I will, I have some regular miracle Grow left, you know, the blue, the dyed blue stuff. And I'll put that in my window boxes because it's just flowers. And then literally the other day I thought, hey, what you doing? Like, I try not to drink a bunch of chemical laden crap. Why would I give it to bees? Because... No, the bee isn't drinking that directly, but the roots of those flowers are soaking up that blue dyed chemical fertilizer, and then that's what the bee is drinking. Does that make sense? So I switched to an organic fertilizer for for all my flowers because I'm not trying to make my bees sick. So these are just some things to consider. Uh, Usually folks don't think about this stuff, so I kind of feel like that's my lot in life, you know? I just want to relay ideas, hopefully give you some things to think about, and maybe make a change here and there where you see that you can work that into your life. So that literally is it for today's episode. I hope I gave you a couple things to think about. If you have any questions or comments, drop me a line. And I thank you very much for listening. 